Am I live? I do this every time. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Every, I'm, I'm still trying to figure it out. Like, y'all, 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 don't be acting like that, man. Okay, so let me see. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Okay. Hopefully, I'm live. If we got some ninja watchers out there, anybody in the chat, give me a, y'all give me some kind of feedback. Just a second. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I'm not going to take a long time to be doing this, okay? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey! Lead attorney, do I have sound and visuals? Hopefully, I do. Oh, man, y'all know me. Can I get a thumbs up or uh, uh, something from somebody? In the night, I hear him talk. Okay. Can y'all hear that? Yes. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. Well, since we got the visuals and the sounds, we're going to rewind <laughs> and do my intro. Welcome back, guys. What am I doing? Okay. 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 Welcome back, y'all, uh, to Pills, Potions, and Poisons with me in Allen Rx. I'm a pharmacist, but I'm not here in a professional capacity. I am not, 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 not necessarily, um, but I do have information and expert level knowledge that I can share and exchange with you all. But don't get it twisted. I'm not your pharmacist. I ain't your pharmacist. <laughs> I'm not your pharmacist. I'm a pharmacist, but I'm not your pharmacist, okay? So. What are we talking about tonight? It's the Tootsie. It's the Tootsie we're talking about tonight. <laughs> the funky white Tootsie. And shout out to the mortgage boss on the last stream. You know, she was trying to tell me who sang that song. Um, <laughs> that song is so, it's kind of nasty. Why were we singing it as kids? That's so weird. And why did our parents let us do that? But anyway, the puppies, they sing that song. I was like, what is she talking about? But anyway. Let me get back to the subject. Okay, so what's the setting? The setting of tonight's uh, stream is um, Medellin, Colombia, to be exact. That's where, I don't know if this is where it originated at, but that's where the pink cocaina is really hot right now, okay? That's where it's really hot right now. So that's the setting. Now, I don't know about y'all, but before all this Diddy stuff um, came out, I didn't know anything about no pink cocaine. I didn't know anything about any pink powder. You know, I'm like, am I not running into the right circles anymore? Because usually, <laughs> I be up on what's going on now. Not that I'm using it or anything like that, but I just be knowing what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just saying. Uh-oh, who's calling me? Somebody's calling me. And why are they calling me? I feel like it's a... Hold on. Let me put y'all on pause. No, I ain't going to pause y'all. Okay. Are you trying to call me? Wait. What's going on? Is something wrong with my screen? People be trying to let me know what's going on. Okay. I don't know. Are you trying to call me? Okay. So, anyway. um, So, yeah. That, we only found out about this stuff, you know, once... um, But this Diddy stuff came out. Did y'all know about this before now? Put a one in the chat. If you heard about the pink, you know, powder situation before Diddy brought it out. Just so y'all know, we late to the game. I'm late. I didn't know anything about this before now. But it's been out a few years. It's been out a while. They're like, if you still doing the white kind, you like stuck in the 90s. Uh, you know, now, nah, if you hadn't heard about the pink one, you need, you need to go on, on like catch up, catch up. It's so crazy. You know, of course. Wait, what? I don't know. Turn my phone on live. Wait, can y'all hear me? I don't know. Okay, but yeah, so I didn't know anything about this. They like, if you still using the white kind, I don't know, you know, what co you using you must be using your mom and daddy cocaine because this is not what it is no more. But let's be very clear: there's no 
Cocahina in the pink stuff. I'm like, where does the point of that? It's more expensive, but they're using cheaper products, okay? Like, what the, what is that all about? So, during my research, because y'all know, when I get into these types of subjects, I got to go and dig a little bit deeper into it, find out a little bit more about it. Boy, what did I find out? Mm -mm -mm. So, when I was looking at it, I found out that Kanye, y'all know Ye, Jesus. He he had this in the song. He was talking about the 2C in the song. The 2C, he was talking about it in a song on the Yay album. <laughs> I was like, what? Yay album. I don't know about no Yay album. That, that Yay album slipped under the radar like the Love album because I don't know what he had on Yay. I at least know about the life of Pablo, which was a little bit exotic. If you know, if we're gonna be serious. That album was a little exotic, evidently. The Ye album was even more exotic. But he was talking about it in that song. I, I you know, I was gonna listen to the song. I was gonna learn the, you know, learn the lyrics. Psst, I ain't got time for all this. Like, I barely got on here. But let me see what he said. What did he say? Okay. So he was like tweaking, tweaking off that two CB, huh? Is he gonna make it? TBD, huh? TBD, like to be determined. You don't know if you're going to die. Then he was like, thought I was going to run DMC, huh? Uh, I done died and lived again DMT, huh? See, this is the type of high that won't come down. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. This is the type of high that gets you gunned down. Oh, Yeezy, Yeezy, trolling OD, huh? Overdose. Turn, T turn TMZ to smack DVD, huh? Russell Simmons want to pray for me, too. I'm going to pray for him because he got me, too. What? He ain't been telling us. We up here thinking like, oh, Kanye out his mind. He been telling us. He been trying to give us the heads up on the 2C. The, not the funky Y2C. What is a funky Y2C? Because it's not a little bit um, It's not a little bit questionable if you ask me. But, you know, whatever. The, the 2C, okay? He was trying to tell us. He said he going to pray for Russell Simmons. And then he said, thinking, what if that happened to me too? Then I'm on E News. I ain't gonna even go into these deep these lyrics any more than I already have because I feel like I'm, you know, going into dangerous territory because y'all already know how they cancel. Yay. Psh, he been canceled. Since he said George Bush don't care about black people during Hurricane Katrina. And I was living in New Orleans during Hurricane. Well, I was was living in New Orleans. No, nah, when I was living in Baton Rouge. But it was the same thing. They had too many people in Baton Rouge that came from New Orleans. I'm like, what is all these people doing here? Okay. But Ye been trying to tell us about the situation. So let's see what else. Ye been trying to tell us about it. He tried to tell us in the song, the lyrics of the song. But do we listen? We don't listen. We like Ye bipolar. He dealing with them Kardashians, you know. What does he know? Look at him. Look how he's looking out here. Y'all, you know, we judging people. You only listen to people depending on how they look. Speaking of how they look, uh, let me turn and talk about a uh, shout out to what I got on tonight. <laughs> you see? It? Anyway, so guys, let me let me go ahead since I since I tapped into the chat. Let's see who we have in the chat as we are approaching um, Resurrection Sunday. If you're a believer, you know some of y'all might be like it's pagan. <laughs> I might say it too. Y'all want to know a secret? Let me tell y'all a secret. Uh, y'all know my name. <laughs> my name is not the secret. I dox myself all the time. But my name, Nastasha, and variations of it, Anastasia, Anastasia, Natalia, Natasha, in uh, Russian and Greek, in Italian, it means resurrection. <laughs> Did y'all know that? Y'all ain't know that. Resurrection. That may not be here before. Do y'all think my mama and daddy do that when they name me that? They ain't know. They ain't have a clue. They ain't have a clue. They just going like, oh, this ain't sound cute. Well, you know, women. That was my mama like, oh, I like it. Nastasha. Like, oh, you're going to name child resurrection. Yes. <laughs> so we had the resurrection Sunday, and I'm the resurrection. I guess I've been here before. I don't know. 
however you want to take it. But let's see what we got in the chat. And shout out to my regulators. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. I thank y'all for showing up and, you know, supporting your girl tonight. Now, I'm calling y'all regulators, but that don't mean we snitch. Okay? And we ain't policing the people. I just thought regulators sounded good. Regulators! Mount up. <laughs> like that. Not like, oh, we 12. Because we ain't 12 over here. The only place that I'm regulating the, the drugs is at work. And that's only because they pay me. That's my job. Other than that, I mind my own business and always understand about me. I don't judge. I don't judge. I don't judge. We got the lead attorney up in this thing. Yes. Welcome, lead attorney. To be a sponsor of poisons with me, Leonardis. It's good to see you tonight. He said, I got both things going. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking about them things. Oh, he, he might be talking about the sound and the visuals, right? <laughs> this is what we think he's talking about. He also says, shout out to the pink and green. You know, that's me. I, you know, do all of that. I do all of that. LVP. <laughs> One of my peel heads. Thank you for supporting. I be needing my, you know, my healthcare team up here to support me as well. Because when I be talking about this drug talk, Sometimes people might not, they might not think I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Okay. Out here trucking. He says, you streaming on fight night, Ian Allen. <laughs> Peace out. Um, What fight? Y'all know, I don't know. Nothing about no fight going on. I just was like, you know what? I need to stream again. I like the air came out. Hopefully I'll stay out. Yeah, hopefully y'all can hear me. Uh, What fight? Out here trucking. What fight is going on? Ain't no fight bigger than the battle that Diddy got going on right now. <laughs> Nothing is more important than that. Let's get that straight before we even get into this stream. Nothing. Diddy is out here fighting for his life. As a matter of fact, guys, let's have a moment of silence for our dear, uh, where is Sean at? Let me see if I can pull Sean up. Let's have a moment of silence for him. Let me see. <laughs> Y'all not be going way too far. Uh, let me see. Okay. I'm going to learn it at some point. There he is. Oh, he on YouTube. Let's have a moment of silence for him. Y'all can look at him on there. I ain't got nothing going on my YouTube channel. Let's have a moment of silence for him. Okay, golly, that was long enough. He ain't dead. He just in trouble. He is not dead, okay? He is in some trouble now. And we don't know if he, he ain't dead yet. Okay. We don't know what's going to happen, you know, but, you know, I guess we say good luck to him. I don't know. Cause you know, if you get found supporting these people doing all this kind of stuff, then they'd be like, oh, cancel her too. Whatever. I got my phone on loud. What's on my phone? I'll be on that phone, buddy. Yay lyrics. <laughs> okay. I got a cash app. Like, what can I do for that? What is it? It's from LVP. Oh, let me speak of the cash app. Let me put my banner up. As always, it says, life is short. Keep your addictions. And thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting the channel, LVP. <laughs> eight dollars i actually owe you i owe you because after that you know i did three in a row i was supposed to do four in a row and evidently you know i went on a hot 80s for about two three weeks after that but y'all know i got just personal life is personal life and okay but i do appreciate that mvp i haven't got i, I need to put you as a sponsor on y'all you know i can't can't break away from what i'm doing right now I'm going to put you in this banner, okay? I'm going to put you in this banner. Because <laughs> I ain't got a cash app since, you know, forever. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, MVP. I heard trucking talking. He's talking to TLA. Thank y'all. King! <laughs> What's up? He says, hello, everyone. Where have you been? I, You know, I've been, I need to go ahead. Turn on my notifications. Speaking of which, y'all log in. Yeah, y'all subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button while you're here. Might as well. What else you doing? Keep watching. King, 
He says, just curious, is there anything different about pink cocaina besides the color? Yeah. There ain't no cocaine in it. <laughs> it's not, it's none in there. It's everything but debt. Okay. It's MDMA. It's, uh, uh, which is ecstasy. For those of you who don't know, that's the X. It's, um, what's that? It's ketamine. It's caffeine. I was watching today on Vice. Because, uh, you know, when I'm doing my research, I'm doing my research now. I'm like, I'm going to see what Vice, you know, I know Vice got something going on. Oh, Lord, I went down the rabbit hole with Vice. They got a video I really wanted to share with y'all. But, you know, I feel like Vice, they ain't they ain't playing about their stuff. So I ain't, ain't going to, I ain't, I mean, I can't get the montage name like montage. But I'm like, what's going on here? So. Let me go and take a pause here to go ahead and tell y'all about what I saw on Vice. Since I can't play it for y'all, y'all need to see it. Oh, my God. So, Vice is where you want to go to see what's really going on. So, this guy, I guess he's like, you know, some reporter or something. He was down, like, in Colombia. He was there. They got these people with these masks on. Like, they look like uh, uh, bulls and uh, I don't know. All kind of exotic animals. So I'm like, this is already looking scared. He's like, uh, uh, it's like such a big deal that like this, this cartel, don't counsel me, don't come find me, cartel. I'm just talking. I don't know what I'm talking about. And I got this from Vice. So if y'all gonna get anybody, go get Vice, the people on Vice channel. Okay. So they were like, all of these uh, places were connected by tunnels. So they had to go underground in these tunnels to get to the places where the people are doing, they making the, the Tusi, okay? He made it very clear. Like, we looking at it live and in person. This is theory versus practice. This is theory versus reality. We looking at it right here on Vice. I'm like, okay, what's going to happen up in here? You know, they always got these voices, like, you know, uh, got all these crazy sound of voices on here. These people, like, they trying to disguise everybody. Got this mask on. They were like, so what's in the Tusi? He says, um... You know, pretty much anything they got left over. This is the biggest selling thing, like for the um, what do you call these people? They be like techno, they be uh, uh. <laughs> y'all know how they be, and they got these disco lights, and you be, you know, really it's kind of like the X crowd to me. The people that's doing X and they be, you know, mm, 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 mm. how they be dancing, like and the lights be blinking, like it's like, you know, you can't help but like get high, lose your mind, get crazy, you know, flashing like warnings. Y'all know what I'm saying. So he's down there with him. He's looking at him like mixing stuff up. He's like, oh, that's, K you know, one guy's like, tell him ketamine. He's like, ketamine is in it. Ketamine is in it. He's like, caffeine. Okay, caffeine. Okay, MDMA. Okay, cool. You know, we got a little food color and we got a little scent. I mean, it was looking real cute if you ask me. Okay, then he was like, we got, you got something that got fentanyl in it? He was like, yeah, it, we got fentanyl. He was like, try it. Ho, 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 ho. That's what he's telling the dude from Vice. Like, take a bump. I was like, oh, shoot. It's going down. It's going down. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's me. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Is he going to do it? Like, I mean, because they like, they waving the GUNs around like, do it. You down here. He was like, um, yeah, no thanks. He kept saying no thanks. He was real. You know, he's really, you know, respectful. He's like, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. He's like, um, no, thanks. No, thanks. He was like, no, take some. Try it. Try it. He was like, uh, okay. He did it. No, I need to. He did it. Y'all go look at it on Vice. I ain't got to, I ain't got to, you know, push nobody to Vice channel because I got six million views on that video. I don't have six million views total. Okay. But. Go watch it. He did it. He took a bump of it. I was like, oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Because, you know, when they do that stuff, you don't know how much of it is in there. You don't know. You don't know how much they put in there. Because they just kind of like, you know, eyeballing it. You know, you're like, oh, I'm going to put about that much in there. You don't know. And it don't take much of fentanyl to be a lethal dose. I was scared. I really, I told y'all, I don't watch scary movies. 
I don't really like to watch situations like that. He made me nervous. I was like, I hope they got the Narcan on standby. Yeah, I don't know what Narcan is. I'm like, because is this man going to die out here? And if he dies, they should have more than six million views if he's going to die on camera. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just keeping it real. So I'm looking like, oh, Lord, he took a bump of it. So after that, though, because y'all know, y'all watch the Narcos, y'all watch these cartel shows like I do. Then it was like, okay, he good. <laughs> you may proceed. Because it's like he took the bump. He was like, yeah, guys, he, <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm kind of starting to feel a little, um, you know, under the influence. And he tried to keep straight face for a while. But I'm like, they need to go hit him with the Narcan. Just in case. Just had it. Just in case. They were like, but they want him to go ahead and have a real experience. I'm like, what happened to all this kind of stuff? You know, when they be putting it on their gums. I don't know. I just watch a lot of TV. I ain't never seen it like that in real life. I'm just going by for what I see on TV. I don't know what's going on in real life. I mean, on there. But y'all hit the like button while you're here. Because. And then go look at that video. Don't go look at it right now. Keep watching me. But when you get some free time, look up the pink cocaine and high society wave on Vice. <sighs> he took the bump. Then he was like, you good to go. Like, so they went and showed him some more stuff after that. But he had to go and risk his life. Take a bump of that stuff. That was scary. So, King, that's what's going on. That's what this stuff is. There's no cocaína in the mix. But it is a little pink coloring which is good for the nightlife and that um, those people in their lifestyle. Because if you look at the people that really like use this, they are real eccentric and interesting. I'm going to say they're interesting. They're interesting. Okay. And some of them dress like this, but they're not the same gender or they're non-gender, binary, whatever. They live in the nightlife and they're underground. That's why it's pink. It looks good with the psychedelics, you know, with these colors. And this is the X crowd. Those people that take X, they the main ones that's using the, what do you call it stuff? The two C. They're the main ones. So, hence Diddy and Carisha. They using it. So, <clears throat> y'all keep getting active in the chat. Keep talking. Keep doing whatever you're going to do. But let me get back to the story. Let me get back to what I'm talking about. So, those people. Okay, what would you say, King? He says, yep, that crowd is heavy into drugs. I've dealt with them. Have you parted with them? I know if I, if I was in Oregon, well, how do I always do that? I don't even know what that is. When I was in Oregon, if I was still in Oregon, y'all know I love Oregon. I ain't gonna, I'm gonna say it all the time. You can do whatever you want up there. If I had still been in Oregon, I would have known about this stuff by now. <laughs> when I was up there, my, let me talk to my cousin. I was like, oh, they want to go hiking after work. We going on a trail. I don't know, to somewhere. She's like, don't go with them people. I'm like, we're just, you know, they like, oh, this trail kind of difficult. She's like, yeah, somebody gonna kill you up there. <laughs> I was like, okay, I probably shouldn't go then. But shout out to y'all that I used to work with up there. I, I did enjoy it when I was there. Like, I just couldn't go hiking with y'all because my folks at home had to give me so bad. So let's get back to what we're talking about. So Diddy and the Carisha. Carisha, please. So to me, it sounds like a for my man situation. Diddy, you know, they got him on lockdown. They like, oh, everybody involved with Diddy. They naming names. Lil Rod, he's naming names, okay? He naming everybody he want to name. So let's get to um, how do we get here? How do we get here where we are with uh, our dear Carisha being involved in this type of situation? So I'm going to play y'all a video, and we'll talk a little bit about it, okay? Uh, am I going to play a video? Or am I just gonna go into it? Because um, uh, how do I do this? Hold on, y'all. Mm. I always got some mess going on, don't I? Hold on, I'm gonna take this down. <laughs> Hold on. I'm coming. Y'all know I don't know what I'm doing. As usual. But yeah, so um, 
Carisha, you know, she was, you know, bopping for Diddy with the funky y Tuesday. Yeah, it's the okay. So how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna share the screen. These are they they talk about on law and crime. I don't know if they did. Like I said, my channel ain't monetized anyway, so I'm gonna just play whatever I want to play. Um, let's see if we can get a full screen going on here. And y'all let me know. Hopefully, uh, we will have volume. Cause I say share the volume. Uh-oh. Hold on, I'm coming, y'all. Dang, be patient. Y'all have no kind of patience. Yeah, so um, Carisha and Diddy. She's acting like they say she was working for him. I don't know if she was working for him because I mind my own business, okay? Okay, so y'all let me know. I'm play a little bit of y'all let me know. In Miami now. homes continue to stun the music industry. Y'all hear that? Parents were reportedly connected to a federal investigation in well, Manhattan related to allegations of sex trafficking, sexual assault, and solicitation and distribution of drugs and firearms. Diddy has been swimming in legal trouble since November when his ex girlfriend filed a so jaw dropping lawsuit about where to start accusing him of sexual and physical abuse. That suit was settled quickly, it. a mere day after it was oh, filed in federal court. Can y'all hear it? Hold on, y'all. Because I don't want to play this video. I mean, all the way. I'm not going to play it all the way anyway. But did we have sound, guys? Did we have any sound? Hopefully we did. Because y'all and I uh, helped them. Y'all ain't responding. But just last month, another federal lawsuit was filed against the oh, they talking hit about mogul and hitmaker when Rodney Jones, aka Lil Rod, Lil Rod, Rod right against there. Diddy with some allegations like that music. appeared similar to the claims in Cassie's lawsuit. Jones claims Diddy sexually harassed, yeah, drugged, and threatened him. And that's not all. The former producer and videographer oh, yeah, for Diddy yeah. also claimed Diddy and his team were engaging hey, in serious illegal activity, Can we hear it, including sexual assault, drug trafficking, sex trafficking. They talking about all the all the charges they have against Diddy right now, okay? Let me get King out. Thank you so much, King Lemon Podcast. Y'all support everybody's channel. Wait, okay, that's bad right there. Ooh, look at P Diddy. He looks smoked out right there. King soliciting sex workers and providing laced drinks to minors. Ooh. The suit continues to make headlines after an amended complaint added 25 pages and a new defendant, actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Ooh. Jones claims Diddy was grooming him to pass off to his friends, which- Okay, wait, okay, so they said he was, um, he was, uh, <laughs> I was so crazy. They say that uh, he, uh, Diddy was grooming like uh, Lil Rod to pass him off to uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. I haven't heard this or you know on anybody's channel but y'all know me i got 12 different you know narratives in my head about what's going on here okay but how did diddy and cuba good jr hook up like what's the connection because diddy into music and cuba good jr is an actor show me the money Show me the money. What's the connection? What is the connection, y'all? Like, how did they get hooked up? Because it ain't like, you know, Diddy ain't like Babyface. Shoot, they Babyface used to do all the soundtracks. Do they even? Well, I don't even know. No songs in no movies right now. They ain't got no movies good enough for me to care about the soundtrack. You know what I'm saying? But it ain't like Diddy was doing a soundtrack to a movie that Cuba Good and Junior was in. How did they get hooked up? I'm just saying something else to think about. Y'all better think about this because it sounds crazy to me. Sound crazy to me. But anyway, just keep talking, law and crime. Y'all doing good. Which included Gooding. According to the suit in January 2023, Combs introduced Jones to Gooding while they were on the rapper's yacht in the Virgin Islands. Jones <laughs> says Diddy suggested Gooding get to know Jones better, leaving the human alone in the studio aboard the yacht. Oh. He looking like he making him uncomfortable right there. Did y'all see it? I don't think a man should be on another man like that. 
He was like, oh, yeah. He rubbed his shoulders like, oh, hey. If he was doing my shoulders like that, I probably would feel uncomfortable if I ain't like him now. If I liked him, I'd be like, okay. <laughs> but if I didn't, I'd be like, man, what you doing? And little Roger's sitting there like, you know, he, 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 look at these songs I'm making. He's like, I'm trying to act like I don't know what's going on, but this ain't my first time. Mm, this has got to be a tough situation to be in. Once alone, Jones says Gooding sexually harassed and assaulted him. And Cuba Gooding Jr. wasn't the only high-profile name in Jones' amended complaint. He was not even Jones' right. lawsuit also named City Girls rapper and Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Young Ish, Miami, yeah. whose real name is Carisha Brownlee, in the complaint. The most serious claim against Young Miami in the suit claims the City Girls rapper transported a drug known as pink cocaine. <sighs> this is what we're talking about tonight. This is what we're talking about tonight. Carisha, please. Now, she, whatever they say she did, I think she did it, but was it for my man situation? Armonize, who says, hey, y'all, was it a for my man situation? But I feel like Carisha ain't loyal like that. I feel like none of the women that Diddy really was dealing with was loyal. That's kind of sad. He didn't have one woman that was really like, <laughs> I'm a ride for him. Because they, when it came down to it, he had to go on, on allegedly off Kim Porter. Because she was finna tell his business. Then, you know, uh, Cassie, she had to pay her to not tell his business. And then Carisha, they was like, when he was like, he was going to cancel Carisha, please. Even though she started, like, on the show, he, she said, uh, he was like, oh, we go together? She said, yeah, we go together. <laughs> he thought he was in charge. He said, she said, he said, oh, we go together? She said, yeah, we go together real bad. He was like, my kind of girl. But he didn't know. Fast forward to now, when everything started going down, Carisha might be a liability. Carisha ain't going to go to jail for him. I don't think she down like that. People be thinking these ghetto chicks and, all, you know, these supposedly hood girls, city girls, they be like, oh, they going to ride for me. No, they ain't. They ain't going to ride for you. You might as well go and get you some girl who ain't, you know, <laughs> acting like me. I'm loyal, though. I ain't going to jail for you. But I ain't. I probably don't tell on you. Don't let me see it, though. Because if they ask me three times, I'm like, in Allen, where, where, where was the drugs? I'm like, mm. Because, you know, that's what I do. I told y'all, I don't say anything. At first, I'm be like, mm, I, 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 I. and then they be like, where is it? I'm going to be like, I hope you don't say it again. This is asking again. I'm about to tell you. This is about the three times. They be like, where are the drugs? I be like, ask Diddy. He had them. <laughs> I don't know. I didn't have them. I don't know. Don't ask me nothing else because I can't, you know, I'm not good at this. So, y'all need to keep me in a safe place and just don't even show me half the stuff. But, or don't let them arrest me. I, you know, I told y'all, we regulators, but we ain't snitching. But it's like, when they like get me in the corner, I'm like, what? What happened? What? You heard me. What did they say? You know, I could see it in your eyes. I'd be like, I do know what they say. Don't make me tell you. They're like, you have to tell us or you going down. I'd be like, I'm sorry. I love you though. Okay. I love you anyway. Okay. But let me, uh, let me go on. Let me keep putting my girl out here. City girls up. Okay. Across state lines for Diddy. Court documents say on one occasion last year, young Miami got on a private plane to bring drugs to Diddy. Jones claims he and Diddy were rehearsing for a music festival in Virginia where Jones allegedly witnessed Diddy doing a few lines of cocaine in his dressing room. First of all, Lil Ross sounds like a hater to me. Why he had to tell everybody business? He like, I'm going to get you somehow, Diddy. And you were a willing participant, but we, I'm going to get it to that. I'm going to let y'all listen to this, finish this, I'm, this is what I'm talking about. But I'm like, man, come on now. Come on now. If you want to get Diddy, get Diddy. But right now, you doing, you being a little bit extra rod. And we saw what he looked like. 
He is a musician. Diddy allegedly wanted pink cocaine and Diddy's alleged drug supplier, Brennan Paul, is named as forgetting the stash. So Diddy's chief of staff made a call to Young Miami, who then brought it on a private jet from Miami, which, according to retired FBI agent Colin Schmidt, is a crime. Absolutely. I mean, that's distribution or, or in transportation of, uh, of cocaine over state lines. Yikes! Uh, that, depending on how much it is, because the, the sentencing guidelines or whether they prosecute is based upon the weight, but that's an absolute violation of federal law. And if any of that is true, uh, that young lady is going to have a lot of problems. See, I, that's wrong. That's wrong. They, he, she, they don't even know how much she had. And at this point, he just talking outside his neck. He like, um, yeah, and I saw him doing lines. It's like, golly, man, when you, did you see him doing lines? Were you doing lines? Because I did it on party alone. Now in a new report, sources close to Young Miami's team told TMZ she was actually getting fitted for her Met Gala dress, in which she later attended alongside Diddy at the time she's a... That dress was cute with them pearls like that. I liked it. ...alleged to have flown the pink cocaine from Miami to Virginia. According to the source, they have evidence indicating Young Miami was in New York on April 30th, miles away from Diddy. And that's not the only claim brought against the City Girls rapper. So to me at this point... It seemed like they trying to get the city girl down because they like, OK, I think JT can't do it on there. They like free JT. JT. JT is the city girl. OK, JT hold it down. She I like JT, to be honest, better than young Miami because it's like free JT and JT is a better rapper, in my opinion. But I think JT like, nah, my girl wasn't there. She was getting fitted for a dress. She was not even there. So. Whatever. And JT, she does the time. JT, JT is loyal. JT never. You, they like free JT. JT was sitting in jail. Okay. JT don't care. She down for her dude. I'm going to be down like that one day. Not today, though. Not today. I ain't got nobody. The Rodney Jones suit also names Young Miami as one of the women who are allegedly paid a monthly fee to work as Diddy's sex workers. Ooh. She was named alongside OnlyFans model Daphne Joy and Instagram model Jade Ramey. Okay, Daphne Joy. Let me tell y'all, y'all know who Daphne Joy is. Put a one in the chat if you know who Daphne Joy is. The one in the middle. Let me put, let me let y'all see her. Her in the middle, Daphne Joy. Just in case you don't remember, you can look at my last stream to uh, hear what I, uh, my commentary about Miss Daphne Joy. Miss Daphne Joy is the baby mother of a uh, 50 cents child. <laughs> and what happened? If they hate, they let them hate and watch the money pile up. I told y'all, did it one that round. He's like, uh, uh, I don't care about what somebody text message somebody sent you about Cassie. I don't care nothing about Cassie. Cassie gone. Cassie didn't got her money and she gone. She ran. But Daphne, your baby mama, 50. I got over here with me. Mm -hmm. He might even have a collar on her neck. I feel like he just doing her real bad. I feel like any kind of dirty, nasty work that got to be done. He like, Daphne, get in there, Daphne. Go on over there. Let me see your nails. He probably do an uh, inspection of the nails. He like, Hold them. Let me see your nails, Daphne. After he got her doing some real dirty work, I feel like he real hard on her. And every time 50 Cent say his name in the news or anywhere in public, he like, Daphne, get in here. Did you hear what your baby daddy said? Just for that, you got to get punished. I don't know. This is like it could be happening, could not be happening. That's just what I think. Y'all know I got eight different narratives. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. And here's what else we know about the three women. Young Miami was romantically linked to the hip hop mogul in 2022. She confirmed the dating rumors during an episode of her Carisha Please podcast and show, which aired on Revolt TV, a network Diddy co founded in 2013. That's what she was like. Uh, we go together. I love that part. <laughs> Somebody might say that to me. Uh, we go together. Yeah, real bad. Real bad. Diddy appeared in Young Miami's very first episode as a guest on the show where they spoke about their relationship. Revealing the relationship was not exclusive. 
Diddy would go on to welcome she him. She also revealed in that video, I mean, in that episode, oh no, or was it, no, it wasn't that one. It was the one with Trina, the baddest one, you know, that she likes to, um, to go to shower. Woo! Now, after Cassie coming out, we know they like, we the go to shower, that's the least, you know, dirty thing on the list. They doing 10 times more than that. Okay, so it's like, oh, she didn't care about reviewing that. Oh, yeah, I love it. You know, wash me. You know, that's how she, uh, she said that like with a straight face, like, yeah, I love it. She like, what, is that bad? We like, yes, girl, that's, you know, I kill in jail for that kind of stuff right now. She like, oh, that's just support. That's regular. I'm like, what is Diddy doing over there that you you love this? I don't want to find out. I don't party with Diddy. Cat Williams say what? If he asks you to party, you know, you got to tell him no. <laughs> Carisha be like, and Alan, what you up to? I'm like, I ain't doing nothing. You know I'm at home. I ain't got work today. And then uh, she like, oh, you want to come hang out tonight? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Then I'm like, dang, Cat Williams say, say, tell him no. But I'll be up in there. I told y'all, somebody kidnapped me in a kidnapping van. I'll be like, so why you pick me? And he'd be like, go on, get out. <laughs> you know, so I'll get over there, did it, be like, hey, you want to do a line? I'll be like, nah, I'll pass. What else y'all got? Or can I make my own drink? But you can't even take the drinks at Diddy House. I tell y'all, every episode, every, every one, I say, hey, don't take the drinks. If somebody bring you a drink, don't take them. Don't take it. Don't let anybody be like, hey, I fed, brought you a drink. You're like, no, I don't want it. I can't take it. Okay? You sit your drink down. Don't go back to it. Even if you're watching them open a bottle at Diddy's house, you can't take it over there either. Can't have no drink at Diddy's house. Don't drink the drinks at Diddy's house. Evidently, they laced with something. Already, he like, <laughs> and Allie, you think you're smart, don't you? You think you guys are gonna turn down a drink at my house? You think, oh, well, they poured it from the bottle, so it must be safe. That's what you think. I know your type, and Allie, and I'm way ahead of you. I already laced the bottle, drink up, and I'd be like, no his seventh child with another woman in December of 2022. Yeah, seven years. And the relationship between young Miami and Diddy seemed to have cooled off. By August of 2023, oh, in an interview with Cut, young Miami more. confirmed she and Diddy were no longer together. Then there's OnlyFans model and actress Daphne Joy. She so did y'all know that the, uh, 50 Cent Baby Mama was a uh, OnlyFans model? Because I didn't, I guess, maybe she was OnlyFans. Was she OnlyFans when she was with him? I mean, how old is they child? I mean, how long has OnlyFans been going on? I feel like OnlyFans ain't been out there long. Has it? I don't know. But, I mean, is, is he out here really, like, making a baby with the OnlyFans shit? I mean, you ain't, I know, I know people on OnlyFans. I know some people on OnlyFans. That shoot. Yeah, yeah, they, not because you ain't, you know, that don't mean bad to me. But, I mean, is that what she was doing? I don't know. And is that how you get hooked up with these celebrity people? Who even knows? And she got in with Diddy, she didn't know 50 Cent, same women, same ones. They look the same too. She just so happens to be the mother of 50 Cent's son, one of Diddy's rivals. Mm. She and 50 Cent dated between 2011 oh, and they 2012. Was dating. However, they reportedly broke up a few months after their son was born. Mm. Back in September of 2020. <gasps> oh, I thought those were Christmas pictures. <laughs> I was going to say, hey, they were together. They a family. He a family man. Okay, family man. 50 Cent accused Joy of gallivanting with Diddy via Instagram. And that's not the only famous Elephant. thing Joy was linked to. She reportedly dated singer She's Jason cute. Derulo after she and 50 Cent broke up, but Jason split after Derulo, six months. He don't never do when that. Joy was named as one of the women who oh, allegedly received a monthly stipend for sex. <laughs> she at Diddy's house. Sex work from Diddy. Dang. 50 Cent, whose real name is Curtis Jackson, trolled the OnlyFans model on Instagram with him. this post, which reads, I didn't know you was a uh, sex uh, worker, uh, you little sex worker, uh, uh, LOL. Yo, this stuff is a movie. According to... Uh, <laughs> Jealous much, 50? I think he was 
mad. Now these men, when you be, they be, they mess over you and then you be moving on and then they be like, you a little, uh, you know, it's like everything you do be little at that point and, and you, you being extra and you need to sit down somewhere and you know, it's like, uh, really? Now why he trolling her? He, but he trolls. He trolls. That's what he does. That 50 cent, he's a troll. Okay. He trolls everybody. Ex-girlfriend, baby mama, diddy. He gonna troll everybody. I keep saying I'm gonna start a beef with 50 Cent so I can go ahead and get me a million subs in a day because if I get it to 50 Cent, it's all the way up. If they hate, let them hate and watch the money pile up. That's what him and Kanye was doing. They made all kind of money for years with they fake beef. 50, go ahead. If somebody, I need to tag him in this video, maybe. I really don't want to be dealing with 50 Cent like that, though. I mean, I like y'all. I'm okay with these subs I got. We just, you know, get, go up the, the usual way. Okay. But why is he trolling that woman like that? But he probably embarrassed though. Y'all, you know, women, I'm going to tell y'all something. <sighs> when you be, you know, dealing with these men, you got to still act a certain kind of way. You can't be out here, you know, embarrassing them. If they got a child with you or they're c connected with you or they're dating you in any kind of way, you still got to be presentable out here. Okay. So you can't be gallivanting. Like uh, 50 Cent said, we did it. If you, you know, got a baby with 50 Cent, have a baby by me, baby, be a millionaire. You got to still carry yourself a certain kind of way because, you know, whether you're with them or not, they still feel like, you know, you represented them. You attached to them. So still, come on, ladies, do better. This chick like, whatever, I got to get the bag. J uh, what's her name? Carisha and JT, they say, I'm in my bag, but I'm in his bag too. 50 Cent. Baby mama was in, 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 in all the bags. She was in Diddy bag. She was in 50 bag. She was in get, trying to get the bag. Okay. Back to the video. In Us Weekly, 50 Cent is seeking sole custody of his son with Daphne Joy mm -hmm. following her alleged involvement in the lawsuit. Since the allegation, Daphne Joy has denied involvement in the sex worker allegations, posting okay. this to Instagram. She writes, I am deeply hurt by the lies in the Rodney Jones lawsuit. The claim that I'm a sex worker is 100% oh. false and character assassination. I'm retaining an attorney to explore Rodney Jones. all legal what remedies against name both Rodney he and his care. attorney. Instagram model Jade, whose real name is Jade Ramey, was also named in the Jade suit as one care. of Diddy's alleged sex workers. While her name isn't as high profile as young Miami it's and not. Daphne Joy, according to her Instagram page with over 1 million followers, Jade her. seemingly is an influencer with an upcoming activewear line. Active According wear. to the thirty Why million dollar lawsuit filed wear. by Rodney Jones, Diddy allegedly bragged about having several women on a monthly stipend. Mm. So in light of this week's raids on Diddy's homes and the alleged payments to young Miami, Daphne Joy, and Jade, is it illegal? Retired FBI agent. So do do y'all think he had he had enough money to pay? Because they were saying he paid Carisha two hundred fifty k a month. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he had that much money. I mean. But you paying three women that much money a month. You pay that's seven hundred fifty thousand on just your women. That ain't including like you know the other workers that got to come in and participate in the, the FOs. That ain't that ain't even talking about them. Hmm. Diddy, that's a lot of money. How do I put that thumb up like that? I don't know even know how I do that. Okay, so anyway, back to the video. Colin Schmidt says possibly. Well, I think it is under uh, California a statute uh, under the prostitution. It's not necessarily prosecuted uh, by the state <laughs> the uh, based upon the fact that they have to, you know, kind of triage what kind of cases they're going to mm. uh, investigate or, and prosecute. But the place where Mr. Combs is going to be in big trouble is if he transported those women from here to, for example, Las Vegas. For the express purpose of them being engaged in sex acts. I mean, that's how a can violation of the Man Act, and that's basically an act that came uh, to fruition back in the 30s. And, and uh, the FBI back mm -hmm. then was very that's active nice in investigating that, and it was a, nice a way to stem all of the uh, illegal prostitution that was had been going on through uh, uh, throughout the uh, you know the criminal syndicates were doing this. So now I think this is what they uh, kind of hinge their warrant on is the man. I, have Act. I haven't seen like the warrant, like the one at the but bottom. if they're it's alleging like sex trafficking, it's most likely it's because there's an interstate nexus. Schmidt says he was not at all surprised by the raids conducted by federal agents. of. Okay. <sighs> How 
how can they prove that? We don't even know how they, how they gonna like, I don't know, I'm not a lawyer, I'm a pharmacist. We talk about this every time, I'm a pharmacist. But how can they prove that if if if, live my, if young Miami saying that she's dating him and he give her a stipend in a month? Dang, ain't nobody gonna give me no stipend. <laughs> People pay some bills, but they ain't give me no $250 allowance, $250,000 allowance. Who's got a man of these? I don't, need, I'm like, I don't even want it because, you know, at this point, I can't, don't tell me what to do. I ain't doing nothing anyway. Let's just be clear about that. I'm just at the house. But you pay somebody $250,000 a month, you, you got to do what they say. You got to do everything they say. When they're like, hop on one leg, bark like a dog. You know, it's like, you got to do everything they say. You can't be like, <sighs> it's like, what? I bet not see you. Were you hesitating? I didn't think so. You yeah, can't do what you say like that. That's why I can't, like, I can't take the money. I got to figure out another way because I'm like, don't you, you want me to do stuff on your time all the time. But I'm like, what am I doing? Why can't I just do what I want to do? I don't want to do nothing. I don't want to do nothing. Yeah, but I'm like, just, you know, but he's like, hey, we got to go. We got another appointment tonight. We got a show tonight. It's the Grammys. You know, I'm like, it's the Grammys. Oh, Lord. It's your birthday. I guess my birthday. Can I take the night off? He's like, what night off? Did you take off $250,000? Did you give me that money back? My gosh. Gotta keep working for Diddy. Golly. Anyway, let's take a pause. Let me see what y'all talk about in the chat. We got almond eyes up in here. Almond eyes. Welcome to the chat, Almanaz, man. You know, I'm always glad to see you. Glad to see you. She says, hey, y'all. Guess what? She say, we can hear it. Okay, because, you know, we don't know if those videos be playing with it. She said, a little rod is a little zesty. And we do zesty. We okay with zesty. We take them all over here. He, she, them, they, there, zay, zay, zoo. Person plays a thing. Y'all all welcome here because, you know, I fool with all y'all. I, I told y'all. Best way to not get confused about who's who is to just call the person by their name. Don't be trying to figure out their gender. Don't be trying to figure out how they identify because it's very complicated these days. And it's just not even worth the time. What's your name? Tyler? I always say Tyler. And, you know, I just say Tyler because I'm like, this is a unisex name. And the only Tyler I know right now is Tyler the Creator. So nobody be like, and Alan was on YouTube talking about me. No, 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 Tyler's, okay? But you're like, what's your name? Call him by the name. That's the best way to do it. LVP says, we could hear. Thank you. LVP also, I need to put you in this banner. You just, you the uh, sponsor of tonight's stream. Thank you so much so far. I love it. Thank you, LVP. He said, I'm at work. So you ain't coming up. I mean, but I kind of lost the bid anyway. I ain't do four in a row. I just, I did three. I don't know what happened the next day. I just was supposed to come the next day. And then I um I took like three weeks off. I took three weeks off. Then I, I just went, you know, and I just came back the other day. But this is a good topic, I think. Y'all let me know. I like it. I like it. I love all of what's going on right now. It's real murky. I'm and I says Lil Rod mad at that album was trash. You might be honest, some mom and eyes. I would know if the album was trash if I had listened to it. I ain't listened to the album. I don't think nobody listened to the album. We don't know no songs on there. Lil Rod just like, God, man, come on. I put up, I did a year with Diddy. Ride around with this man. Meet his friends, getting groped in an aggressive kind of way against my will by all sorts of people. I've been sitting up here writing songs about whatever, because I don't even know what none of the songs about. Why this man up here getting dressed in front of me, getting undressed in front of me. He locking me in his room. They shooting people in the bathroom. 
His kids running in and out this house. He got so many kids. Just for what? For what? What happened to be a flop? He had nine songs on there. That's what they say. I don't know. I keep telling y'all, I didn't listen to it. Put a one in the chat. If you listen to the Love album. The Love Below? is the, the He ain't the Love Below. The Love Below was Andre 3000. That was a good album. I hope that you're the one. If not, if not, if not, you are the prototype. Is that what that album? Now, the love below, that was good. And speaker box. Was that that album? Put a one in the chat if you heard of the love album, whatever the name of it that did it have. Put a one. Put a no. If you never heard any song on there. Put a no. Put a two or no. Your choice. You have options tonight. Exercise your options. One if you know it, two if you don't. And can I also get confirmation about if that song I was just singing was on 3000 album? Because I 2003 was a good year. I think that's when that came out. If not, you are the prototype. Yes. We tiptoe to the sun. Um, and I says, nah, they were about the exposure. Mm. LVP says, where's KTP? I feel like she inspired the blouse. <laughs> this is her kind of shirt, ain't it? You know, we be dressing all kind of crazy at work, don't we? People don't know what I have on my white coat. <laughs> They're like, what? This is a KTP kind of time. Shout out to KTP. She, you know, was the sponsor of the past couple streams, her and Nina Simone. You know, they're both in my, you know, I guess they enjoying their Saturday night. They out here Saturday night with me. I love y'all. N-O-V. Oh, you, as usual. I love y'all. Okay. <laughs> Ominize. What you say? Talk. That's what they do. Who? Which one of them? Uh, Carisha, please. She was all, oh, we go together real bad. You know, she, they be making us look bad. Because, you know, some of us, we loyal, like me. I'm loyal. I ain't going to tell you secrets. I ain't going to judge you for them either. Because some people be like, I ain't going to say nothing, but I'm judging you. Looking at your side eye. I'm like, man, whatever you got going on is what you got going on. Just let me know. I need the heads up. I don't need to be hearing about it on the news. And I need to hear from you. That's how my mama used to be. Boy, if you, some, you get in trouble or something, and somebody else got to tell her about you, that's what I always tell her myself. My mama raised me right. I just tell on myself that she's like, uh, because my mom's teaching at school. Like, uh, Miss Such and Such said you was, soon as they be like, in Allen, do you want me to tell your mom? I just go on telling myself because I'm like, I ain't even, you ain't even have your foot on my neck like that. I got to move around freely. I'm going to just tell on myself, I did it. Mom, they said I was talking too much in class. Mom. I put out today. I wasn't really no bad child. You know, but it was like, God, leave these people just so sensitive. Yo, it's Chris. Say it's over for okay. Now it's time to oh, I ain't uh, you know, I you know, I told you I don't judge. I'm still listening to, you know, uh down low, down low. I still be listening to him. So I ain't gonna cancel him. I ain't with council culture. I'm going to be honest. I don't like the counseling. And I'm like, man, it's, they still did that work, you know? They still did that. Still wrote the good songs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all going to cancel me next. Whatever. Y'all just want to cancel everybody. Shoot. And we ain't have nothing left if y'all cancel everybody. I'm just saying. Just, you know, let's just wait and see. We'll see. Let's just see what happens. Because some of this stuff, people was, oh, you know, I'm not a victim blamer because I don't want to hear that. And if you ain't here to be real over here, you know, I understand. But 
some things I'm going to say may rub people the wrong way. Because they don't want to be honest. They want everything to be all, you know, flowers and potpourri. I don't know. Rose-colored glasses, is that what they say? But we in the real world. And what? Those songs are still good. I said it. Song's still good. Now, what they do outside of that, we can't, you know, we don't know what they do when they get home. I'm at work in the pharmacy, people looking at me it's one kind of way. They, this is all they see. They see me in a professional, controlled environment. But if they see me in a grocery store, they be like, what? Hey, is that you? I be like, yeah, it's me. They be like, looking like you looking? I'm like, ain't, ain't it work right now? I'm out here being a person. So you are Kelly on stage. But you Robert at home. Y'all notice all his women call him Robert? It's like, who the hell is Robert? It's him. He's Robert at home. He ain't at home being our Kelly. See what I'm saying? P. Diddy, I don't know who he is. He always got his stage name on. He probably P. Diddy, you know, 24-7. He don't never become Sean. Diddy is, you know... That person has taken over his whole life. But that's not, you know, we ain't going to get into that. Um, and I say 250K a month. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. But you got to do some, you know, you got to sell your soul for that much. Sell your soul. Like, is it worth it? You know, is it worth it? This, you know, I mean, it's a lot of money. Is it worth it, though? You got to just straight up sell your soul. Like, here, you are like straight up control of my life, period. Like two hundred fifty thousand. I'm like, man. <laughs> They're like, okay, and Alan, here's the money. I'll be like, what I gotta do for that? Oh, just whatever I tell you. Whatever you tell me, yeah. Whenever I tell you, however I tell you. I'll be like, <laughs> I gotta, you know, I got, I'm just gonna take my ass to work. I just gotta go to work. You can't be telling me what to do like that all the time. You can't get up. It's like, what? We gotta freak off. It's my birthday. I don't care. Did you take that money? Are you gonna get the money back? I, you ain't gonna keep holding that money over my head. I, you ain't going to just be telling me what to do all the time. I'm not going to get up when you say get up. I'm not going to do that. So, I just got to miss out. Girl, you turn down that much money, I'll be like, you go get it. You get that money from him. You don't know what it's like over there. I know. Um, and I says, the funny thing is, the, the money funny, he has to pay Sting 2K a day for selling what? His song, and he had paid in like three years. Every step I take. That one? He got to pay in 2000. Was that? That's real? I saw that. I've seen that before, but I didn't know if that was a real thing or not. I don't know. Mr. CKB? <laughs> the Love Album Suck. You talking about Diddy Love Album? I don't know if it sucked or not because I don't know any songs on there. According to Amina, she says nobody listens to it at all. Two, she didn't know. Amina says, I'm singing Outcast. Denise Matoya. Hey, we here. Okay. This sounds like a Louisiana name. Mm. Shout out to my hometown, my home state, folks. Um, and I say she ain't deleting him. I can't sleep, babe. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Latoya Austin. She's, you know, giving me the side eye. I mean, we can't, we can't, we can't. The music just here in these decades worth of music. <sighs> can't get rid of that. So we're going to get back to it, y'all. How did we get here? How did we get here where we are? 
Let me tell y'all where we are. <sighs> okay, so Lil Rod, this guy, he out naming all kind of folks. He's like, oh, I'm inspired by Cassie. I'm inspired by Cassie. Cassie says, you know, she got $30 million. We haven't confirmed or denied how much money Cassie actually got, but Cassie, she did what she needed to do. She did what had to be done. She got her money and she shut up. We hear anything else from Cassie? Have y'all heard anything else from Cassie? After she's like, okay, I'm going to give you one chance to make this right. You got one chance. I'm going to put this out as a filler just to kind of test the waters. You can take the bait and pay me or, or else. Or else what? Try me and see. She got her money. Case closed. We ain't heard nothing else about it. We ain't heard nothing else from her. We don't know what she did, where she's at. Evidently, she's still alive somewhere. But she got her money, and she zipped it up. That was it. That's how you got to be. Now, they got our girl, Young Miami. They got her out here now, okay? Hold on, y'all. They got Young Miami out here. They like, hey, Rod's like, hey, Young Miami, uh, Carisha and her cousin, Carisha was moving weight. Carisha ain't moving no weight. Don't say that about Carisha, okay? He said she moving drugs for him. Then he's like, oh, wait, hold on. I just showed y'all that one. I'm trying to show y'all something else. Let's share this tab instead. She says, he says, and Carisha was moving drugs. Who? Get out, like, leave her alone. Okay, y'all, what am I doing? Oh, wait. Oh, shoot. I, I be doing good till I don't. Okay, hold on, y'all. I don't have my cursor so y'all can see. One moment, please. We need some whole music. Y'all can listen to this. Let the phone ring while I try to do this. Hello? No, no more lies. Hello? Okay. So let me see. How can I do this? Hmm. Y'all know I got to learn how to do this. Until. And then once I get it halfway figured out, I'm going to go away again. Twin. Where have you been? If y'all know the rest of the words, finish it for me. Finish it for me in the chat. Nobody knows me. Stop sharing screen. Okay. We're going to go into this article and we're going to talk about Carisha. And we're going to talk about what they say about her. We're going to see what they say about her. Hmm. It still ain't showing up. Hold on. Nobody knows me. What fight are they doing tonight? I hear Chuck say it's going to be a fight tonight. Or there is a fight tonight. What do I know about that? Okay. It's still not showing. Ugh. I really need this thing to show up on here so y'all can follow along with me. Sing it if you know it. Know it if you sing it. <sighs> okay. I'm going to try one more way so y'all can see this. What did I do? <laughs> I keep doing the same wrong thing. Hold on, y'all. Y'all ain't doing nothing. Y'all ain't watching the fight. Whatever fight that is, I don't even know what fight is on. Yay! Okay, there it is. They say I need to log in. How am I going to do this now? Mm. Shoot. How can I zoom in out here? Okay, there we go. Okay, Diddy's ex-girlfriend, Young Miami, accused of transporting Pete Coquina for him. Why would she be doing that for him? She probably was using it too. If it's a party drug, it's just a party drug. Sean Diddy Combs, ex-girlfriend, Young Miami, has been accused of transporting an illicit pink drug for him in a newly amended civil lawsuit against the hip-hop mogul. Evidently, 
this uh this thing, this this lawsuit has been amended and amended on top of amended. Amended again. The City Girls rapper, also known as Carisha Ramika Brownlee. Carisha Ramika. I like this. Carisha. Nastasha, you know. I, but my name is though, so it's better. Transported the no, the no, wait, transported the drug known as pink cocaine for Combs in April of 2023. How do they know that? Now, 2023, that was a year ago, like straight up a year ago at this point. He's like, yeah, how can we confirm this? At this point, JT and everybody else supported her. I said JT, but I don't even, we don't know if JT really was the one that said that. But they like, she wasn't even nowhere around wherever he said she was at at the time when the drug was getting trafficked. And where did she get it from anyway? Probably had a connector. I mean, they probably know somebody. I, I mean, I probably, if I if I try hard, I probably could get it. I probably could get it. Anyway. um, So, it says she brought the PC or the 2C, the fucking one, 2 c on a private jet from Miami, Florida, to the Water Music Festival in Virginia because Sean Combs wanted the 2C. But Brandon, Brandon, he forgot it. He had one job. He had one job. That was to get make sure he got the party drugs. We already had a festival. They probably, if they would have tried hard, they probably could have got something out there at the festival. But I guess they probably wanted to go to a reliable source or somebody who had like provided them with the drug before. Because it's like, you know, you don't know what you're going to get. According to the people on Vice, who were literally right there making it and making a reporter test it. Made him test it. It could be anything in there. It could be anything. Like, like we got fentanyl in it? Yes. Ketamine? Yeah. Uh, MDMA? X? Yeah. We got that in there, too. Caffeine? Yeah. Croc? Yeah. Bath sauce? Yeah. Cocaine? Oh, no. Nah. Ain't no cocaine in there. We just calling it that. Cause it just sounds cute. We just calling it that. Everything is in there but that. It's like a gumbo or a soup. It got everything in there though, but the, the thing that's in the name. But they don't really want that anyway, according to these nightlife people, you know, that be clubbing, that be using it so much. Cause they like, we know we're gonna have a good time. It's the ex people. So those people, they the main ones using it. So they don't care if it's cocaine or they don't care. But Everything is in it. So I assume they did it like I need to get it from a reliable source because it's like if you out at a festival, they're like, hey, you can get it. Don't be at the weekend uh concert. You can get anything you want out there. Um, it says she brought it back. Okay, because Brandon, look at Carisha. Oh, she too sexy on there, Carisha. I'm giving us all this boob life, okay? Christina, Christina Corum did his chief of staff, then called Brownlee, who then Brought it on a private jet from Miami. The lawsuit says. Because he doing all the talking. Right? They just taking whatever he say. Just for whatever he says. If he says, it's like, okay, we put it in there. The so-called pink. The so-called PC is a bright pink synthetic drug comprising cheaper substances like ketamine, MDMA, which is ecstasy, caffeine, opioids, and other psychoactive substances according to this american journal drug and alcohol abuse okay jones's lawsuit we already know this claims young miami was one of three women who combs 54 bragged about paying a monthly stipend for their work along with rapper 56 x daphne joy this was the main thing i think he was bragging about i think this is the main thing this is the main one you know he got carisha carisha was cool but she you know i think he elevated carisha a little bit but the fact that he was messing with this chick right here, who was the ex of Fitty, considering their history, this is the one he was talking about. He's like, I got to pay her. I'm taking care of 50 cent child. Ooh, these men be cold-blooded. But it be the women's fault because, you know, she shouldn't have done that. But I guess she like, she got to get her money. However, she got to get it. It don't be like worth that much to me. 
he claimed he was forced to solicit workers and do this in front of the rapper. Y'all saw him. I showed y'all him. Uh, Lil Rob. He like Diddy wanted to see him. But Diddy is a voyeur. He's like a video voyeur. He probably got cameras in people like bathrooms and they don't know. Y'all know how they have those uh, hidden cameras and people be doing stuff like putting them in public toilets. Ooh, people got their ooh, devices. Devices. But you ain't judging. Okay, I'm not judging. He claimed he, okay, we said that. The Pope, what? He's reached out to representatives of Young Miami. Young Miami, uh, I got her. She she commented today. Joy, 37. Oh, the 50 Cent Baby Mama, 37 years old, has also not publicly addressed the allegation and did not respond to Paige's request. But Combs and his team denied all the producer's allegations with his attorney, Sean Hawley, telling Paige says that Lil Rod is nothing more than a liar who's after money. He lying. That's all he do. He just a liar. His reckless name dropping. He reckless with his mouth. You can't have people around you that's reckless with their mouth. Now, sometimes I could come across like I'm reckless with my mouth, but I ain't reckless. You know, I know what I'm saying. And I ain't saying nothing. So keep quiet. His reckless name dropping about events that are pure fiction and simply did not happen is nothing more than a transparent attempt to garner headlines. He like, you didn't get no money from the album because the album, it ain't do nothing. It ain't do nothing. It was overshadowed by Cassie and her suit situation. Look at that, y'all. That's so cute. It's so pretty. <laughs> that razor blade. Okay. 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 Y'all see it. It's a bright pink. Let's look at the uh, caption here. It's bright pink. So that is your, okay. We already see it there. But they was like, look at it. It's got a cute color, and evidently it smells like strawberries. <laughs> I kind of like it. I kind of like it. We have overwhelming, indisputable proof that his claims are complete lies, okay? Combs and Brownlee. Brownlee is Carisha. I don't know why they called her Brownlee because they confusing me. I'm like, who is Brownlee? We're first rumored to be dating in 2021. Blah, blah, blah. We date. We dating. We got, we go have dates and we're friends. Let me say that again. They like Carisha. So, Carisha? Because I feel like, you know, when we're talking about her in this kind of way, we can't use a stage name, Young Miami. And I just like to say Carisha. Um, Carisha? What's the status of you and um Diddy's relationship? Oh, <laughs> we date. I mean, we date. We're dating. What does that mean? We go have dates and we're friends. We go to exotic locations. <laughs> Y'all know I love exotic. We have great times. We go to strip clubs. We go to church. That's what Diddy said in the episode. He's like, we go together real bad, okay? I really like this outfit. Um, as uh, where we at? Oh yeah. As Brownlee continued to question him about what he likes about her, Diddy said, "You're authentic. You're one of the realest people I've ever met. I like that. Keep it real. Let's keep it one hundred. You're a great mother and a great friend. He don't know what kind of mom she is. She had a shower around Diddy. They ain't doing her FOs. Come on now. And we just have a good time, you know. <laughs> You're the funnest. The funnest." Is fun is a word or the funniest? Or does he mean like he has the most fun with her of all, of them all? I don't think Diddy, uh, not Diddy. I don't think 50 Cent Baby Mama is fun. I do think that Carisha is fun. Carisha seems like she's a fun person. Okay. So this is what, you know, this is where we started it. This how Carisha got involved with this, the drug mule, um, Brandon, former Syracuse basketball player, he was supposed to show up this particular time in April of last year, a year ago. Rod somehow is recalling all of this information a year later. Like, what? I don't even know where I was last year around this time. Do y'all know? Because I don't. So, so to be like, well, uh, oh, I remember because we were going to this festival, but he probably, I mean, he got some kind of, you know, some kind of event to kind of attach it to. So 
if I was going to a festival and I was supposed to have something from somebody and they forgot and then somebody else had to go get it, okay, I probably would remember it if it was like we were going to the festival and Diddy was acting crazy because he wanted this and Brandon forgot that. So Carisha had to go get it. I, I, okay. Okay. He might remember that. He probably remembered it. That might be true. That's probably true. Now the rest of the stuff he got thrown around, I don't know. But if he can remember specifically that they was going to Coachella or somewhere like that and how did it was acting. Mm, that I, I, I want to say he ain't telling the truth. But that right there kind of is convincing me. If I want a jury, I'd be like, now that he probably know that. He probably remember that. But if you be like August the 23rd, you know, like what was going on at that time? Nothing. I don't know. But if you like, we were going to a festival. This festival. And I remember Brandon getting off the plane and he looked through his bag and one none of them bags pink. They had a smiley faces on it. And he did it, you know, pitched the fit. He had a narc episode. He started clowning until somebody was like, uh, well, where where Carisha at? Get Carisha on the phone. She ain't here yet. She like, hey daddy, what's up? I feel like she called him daddy because you know she extra. Hey daddy. Huh? What y'all need? Uh, I don't know, because they last time I had talked to them, they was acting funny about they stuff. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna call them. I'm gonna get it. 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 Okay, okay. All right, I love you too. Bye. I feel like that's how they went down. You will remember that. You will remember that. You remember he he would probably did remember that. Okay, so Carisha responded. Where Carissa's response? I put Carissa's response on here somewhere. I thought I did. Hold on, y'all. I, I be acting like I'm going to do this thing right, and I don't. Every time. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do. But I'm going to tell y'all anyway. Carissa, like, y'all just believe whatever they say. She responded on Twitter. And I keep putting uh, Carisha response to allegations, but it's like people really like calling her Miami. I'm like, she wish she wasn't even rapping like that. JT was the one. Yeah, I know JT was the one. Okay, so where I was at? Hold on, y'all. Yeah, Carisha's like, y'all don't know what y'all talking about. Y'all believe whatever they tell y'all. Whatever they say it is, that's what y'all going with. Like, come on, that's how we doing? Don't be like that. Hold on. She's like, she said ain't none of that true. Y'all believe that they talk about the money. The money wasn't true. That the, and this right here ain't true either. How how am I be working for him? I ain't working for him. She 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 said she wasn't working for him, but I'm like, where you thought you was working for him? You was working for him. Okay, here we go, y'all. Let me share again. So this is what Carisha said. She said. He just responded. This was supposed to be today. Okay, but if I would have gotten my things together before now, I would have the right thing. Uh, shoot. Let's see if I can. Oh, 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 hold on. Can y'all see this? Oh, maybe I came too close. Okay, don't look at those ads. I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to keep coming on here so I can really figure it out. But today I'm not. I'm just doing what I'm doing. Okay, so they say, oh, hold on, let's click out of this. I'm not logging into nothing else. Young Miami is firing back as she was accused of being more than just his girlfriends, one of his ex-girlfriends, because you know you're an ex-girlfriend of Didi. You got to earn your way, okay? On Thursday, this is what they said. The rapper, okay, we know who Carisha is, blah, blah, blah. She said she was responding to what they said on Twitter they, when they said she was getting paid 250K. This is what she said. Something the internet made up and y'all ran with it. Because y'all run with it. Ninjas don't even pay that for child support. So why the F would a ninja ever pay me 250K for? For what? Well, 
They say he he was paying you for working. Somebody named Sasha say you that he paying you that two for that that two hundred fifty k a month. What was she doing? Clearly, she likes to get a golden shower. I thought that was exotic. So you know, if you're doing more than that, he probably don't want to pay some kind of money. You wouldn't be doing stuff. Something in that made up. Okay, he's like, for what? Earlier this week, we already talked about Lil Rod Jones, who talked about everybody. He just named names. He came up with all kind of stories. Okay. In the lawsuit, this is when he started saying she was transporting drugs. What? They say he referenced one instance last year where Diddy allegedly took the drug in his dressing room during a rehearsal for his surprise appearance at Pharrell Williams' Something in the Water. Now, why they brought Pharrell into this? Why would they bring him into this? So... Sources in her camp, they pushed back, saying those claims with visual risk. Wait, in timestamp videos in the shade room, oh, rap freaks artists can be seen at a fitting for a Met Gala dress. So she's like, Look, I, I wasn't even there, I was on the other side of the country. Well, I don't know, it's out of the country, she's like, Just somewhere down there. I don't know. Carisha says she wasn't there. This dude, Lil Rod, got pictures of her. I don't know if they got the metadata for everything that was going on at the time. Who even knows? Who even knows? But that's what we had to get into tonight. That's what we talk about tonight. So, y'all, let me know what y'all think in the chat. I still got a few people watching. I heard trucking like blew my mind talking about there's a fight on the night. <laughs> I ain't watch TV like that. Like TV, TV. In a minute. Even though I used to be watching TV, I'm still binge watching all these shows, though. Like on Netflix and Hulu and all that. I need a new show to watch. Y'all need to let me know. Right now, I'm going down the Diddy rap hole. I got to find out, like, what Tusi is and who taking it. I got to find out about these red rooms and these red lights. I just feel like, you know, the red light ain't going to do nothing for me. I don't know. I don't know. But... I got to get into that. So I'm like, oh, I'm doing, they making me study. I'm doing research. Even though y'all know I'm on the fence sometimes about this research. Are we going to accept? Are we going to fail to reject? Who even knows? Should I drop the link? Let me see if I'm going to drop the link. I'm going to drop this link. Y'all can come up if you want to. Let me know your opinions. You can drop your opinions in the chat. If you have more, if you don't. I be doing this because I want to practice. <sighs> but oh, I'm one of these times I'm gonna go straight to it. And I ain't gonna be like, y'all, I ain't gonna do it. Okay. What you say, um, and eyes? Wasn't she getting it from the <sighs> I don't know if that's what she where she got hers from. But the, this particular time when uh, Lil Rod said she was moving it, the dude, Brandon, he didn't have it. He, he can, They gave him, you know, he went and picked up a package and had everything in it but that. So, we don't know. I don't know where she got hers from this particular time. But he usually is in charge of the drugs. Who's in charge of the drugs? Brandon is in charge of the drugs. Okay? So let me put this here. I'm going to say, come and talk to me. I really want to meet you. Come talk to me. Okay. I'm going to get good. I'm going to get good. I'm going to take my time getting good, though. I ain't trying to get good like that. Yeah. Okay. Is it in there? Can y'all see it? Hold on. Okay, we got it here, y'all. We can go and go into the Q&A. If there's any Q&A. Any questions about that to see? In the night I hear of do. That ain't it. I don't know what's on the Yay album. I don't know what's on... um. The Love album. But evidently, Mr. West been talking about the Tootsie. When did that album come out? 
the Yay album. I don't even remember that. And I, you know, I used to keep up with Kanye. I like Kanye. I like the college dropout. I like um, late registration. I like his old stuff. I kind of like that 808. It's heartbreak, too. That guy, it was kind of cool. It was different. He probably was on the Tusi when he did that one. You know, when he got these exotic life of Pablo and all of them, he probably was on the Tusi. You know, your brain be doing all kind of stuff when you're on that kind of drugs. So you be thinking outside the box. Yeah. So what did I say? Oh, when did the uh when did Ye come out? The Ye album. Where y'all been? Are we done? Is we finished or is we done? What? Hold on. That can't be right. That came out in 2018. That was five years ago. That was five years ago. That that album came out where Ye was talking about the 2C. Mm, the 2C. Just in case you wonder how to say that 2C, okay? Like the number two in the letter C or 2CB, okay? Other than that, yeah. Wow. That song was kind of cool. I listened to it a couple times. I was going to try to rap it for y'all tonight, but I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. I was just like, and I just gave up anyway. So, and I knew y'all wasn't going to know it. It ain't like it was like singing with me. It wasn't going to be no sing along or a call and response. Because some of these songs I sing over here, I know y'all know them. Y'all singing them with me. But I was like, they ain't going to know this. I ain't even knew it. I didn't know it. And I know a lot of songs. That is so crazy. Okay, y'all. What else we got going on? Any questions? You can drop a cue in the chat if you want to ask a question. Or I wish I had. I'll be watching all kinds of stuff, y'all. I was watching this channel. So she was like, put a question mark. She's she a terror reader. And she was like, yes or no? She's like, shuffle the card. You drop a question in there. You think of a question. And she's like, absolutely. And no. I was like, I wish I could do something like that on my channel. I'm still trying to figure out how I'm going to do these puzzles on here. I've been getting dressed up for y'all. Did I work today? Yeah, I work today. I work tomorrow, too. But I'm going to try to come back on here tomorrow. I, well, I have another topic to talk about. It's this football player. Um, well, he wasn't a player at this time. He Now he's a... Uh, well, he was a coach because he had graduated. But his daddy, too, was some kind of coach. and. Um, I told y'all every episode, somebody going to get drugged. We're we talking about drugs. This is pills, potions, and poisons. We're going to be talking about the drugs. Okay? You can expect the drugs whenever you come here. Like, you, can, you know, I prefer illicit, illegal drugs. I'm going to be honest. I prefer those kind. Or some type of, you know, exotic behavior, you know, with the drugs. I like it. You know, I don't want people to get hurt because, you know, it ain't toxic like that. That's just, you know, evil and demonic, if you ask me. It's like, oh, what kind of person are you? You know, let's keep it light. But if it's happening, I'd like to hear a little bit about it. That's just me. So he had a girlfriend. She's a cheerleader. Got pregnant. She got herself pregnant. He'd be like, you guys, now she done got herself pregnant. <laughs> she did. I got to find out more about it. Maybe I need to get on ready. He, he didn't want no baby. He ain't want no baby now. And when they don't want the baby, believe they don't want the baby. Believe them when they tell you. Okay? Believe them when they tell you. Something happened to her. At some point, the baby didn't make it. Five days later, she passed away on her 25th birthday. What the hell did he do? What did he do? But I'm going to talk about that. I might talk about this tomorrow. I'm not sure. I got it. There's not a lot of research. This is, it happened last year. And, you know, now I think they get ready to go to trial or something like that. And so it's, it's kind of tricky because 
Y'all know we still in court with this Roe v. Wade stuff and all the abortion stuff too. So when they like, oh, it's a, a, a double murder or however they're going to charge him, but it's like, is it a murder? We know it's a murder of the 25-year-old the woman. We know that that's a murder. But what about the fetus? That's when this stuff get tricky. Because you're like, oh, you know, he murdered her, blah, blah, blah. But did he? Because according to these laws that y'all set or that y'all canceled, that y'all revoking, that we revising on the Fed level, then on the state level. Is that what that is? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But Y'all look like y'all done. I like y'all staying in here, though. I appreciate that. I talk to myself in the bathroom mirror. But, I, you know, like, I might as well just go in the real bathroom and do it at this point. Because <laughs> y'all, I mean, y'all seem like y'all done. Is there a fight on? Is there a fight on? Can someone tell me that or no? I don't know. But this was a quickie. I came on tonight. Y'all not be proud of myself. I be proud of myself. I did. I forgot to put LVP in the banner. I'm going to have you in the banner for the next one. I appreciate you, you know, supporting the channel through the cash appness. Okay. Application. Okay. But y'all, I thought this was a good story. This was something real cool to talk about. Wait, wait. She had to loop my, on my eyes. I don't know. I heard Chuck and came here early. I guess he's still logged in and I appreciate that. I appreciate the visuals. You know, we need to get the hours however we can get them. Say something about a fight tonight. I don't know. You know, all these Saturday nights. Is today Saturday? I don't even know. Saturday night, Friday night. All these nights at this point in my life, they all the same. <laughs> they all the same. I'm dressing up for y'all. You know, put my perfume on for y'all. Oh, you people like, oh, why you? You be, I'm like, I go like, when I get ready for the show. You know, you got to get ready for a show. You know, I'm like, oh, I want to see your fresh face out the shower. That means you got to be at home with me. When I go out, I don't think you want me to be looking like I just rolled out the bed. I don't think you do. You know, or when you're doing a show, you got to look like you're doing a show. That's just what I think. You know, that's just me. But I don't know what fight's going on. I don't, you know, I ain't been knowing nothing about no fights since, you know, since who, Roy Jones on you, Mike Tyson them back then. That's when I was like, you know, kind of halfway paying attention to boxing. I don't know nobody that's fighting now. Southern Bella, what's up? She says, hi, and Alan. Hi, Pharmacy Text and Chat. I'm late. We'll catch the replay. You know, we take the visuals. We take them out here. We can get them. Y'all watch it. I might make a playlist. I'm going to try to make a playlist. Y'all put us. I ain't making no promises. I never make promises because I don't like to, you know, I like to be honest with y'all. Oh, um, and I was like, that part. You know, when you're doing a show, you got to look like you're doing a show. You know, unless you're at home with me, let me go. I'm going to address that real quick because, you know, it's been a lot of talk these past few years about, like, what a person look like fresh out the shower. Okay, so how do we get to that point? What point? Like, if you see me get out, what I look like get out of the shower, that means at some point you saw me look like this. Then, you know, whatever happened. Then I got to get out of the shower. I got to take a shower or, I, you know, whatever happened. So then you get to see that. But you can't be, like, going out, seeing people in the grocery store. Then, or, I mean, anybody dressed up. Anybody dress up like this to go to the grocery store. I got an auntie. She dressed up like this to go to the mailbox. I don't do that. I will dress up like this and put on perfume and stuff like this for y'all on the show. Because it's entertainment. Okay? And the same person who got y'all on the first place out the shower... When they came to do their show, they were dressed like they were doing a show. They didn't ever come on there just looking like they rolled out the bed or rolled out the shower. They got dressed for the show because it's a show. It is a show, y'all. So don't put so much pressure on yourselves. That's, I mean, this hair, so you know, it's not, 
I got hair under here. Y'all haven't seen I wear my hair too. Everything else is real. These lashes, they mine. You know, these eyebrows. I wake up like this. Now, if y'all want to know that, these eyebrows, they stay on. I wake up with them. I go to bed with them. I wake up with them because they permanent. <laughs> y'all need to get, get a beauty regimen. I ain't got no regimen. I just really, you know, a little stuff that I do. But anyway, so yeah. So get off of that. People still need to take care of themselves, dressed up or not. And sometimes for certain situations, call for certain types of attire. Okay? Certain type of attire. If you're doing a show, you need like you're doing a show. You don't need to look like you just got out the bed. In my opinion. Okay? But if you, you know, at home walking around looking at TV, you may want to be like Mariah Carey and walk around in your kitten heels. Or you might want to wear some joggers at the house if you're just at the house. But, you know, people don't get the privilege of seeing you look like that unless they're at the house with you. Okay? <laughs> I'm just saying, y'all, come on. This is a Saturday. Be cool. Southern Bella says, you look lovely. Love the chartreuse on you. The neckline is everything. Everything. Okay, I ain't know what this is chartreuse. I just I was like, okay, I need to wear some different colors sometimes. I do like to be, you know, I I like to do what I like to do. And because I don't judge other people, I don't take a whole lot of, you know, people judging me. I don't, you know, I'm just gonna do what I like to do. And most of the time it's okay. I ain't bothering nobody else doing it. Other than that, y'all, thank y'all for staying around with me. Y'all, y'all, you know, my day was. Y'all stick with me, work with me. When I get on my feet, I'm going to kick you down. <laughs> when I get on my feet, I'm going to... Wait. I can't never get on it. I'm going to kick you down when I get on my feet. It's L-O-V-E-Y-O-U. I love y'all. Thank y'all for hanging out with me tonight on this Saturday night. Um, people on the replay gang, you know, try to struggle through it. Because y'all know I'm still working. I'm working progress. I'm always rusty. I keep it rusty because y'all can't ever think I'm doing too good. Okay? Always a work in progress. And keep working on yourselves. Hit the like, subscribe, and whatever else people tell y'all to do with these YouTube channels. Um, until next time, what do I always say? Um, the prescriptions, they keep piling up, y'all. These phones, they never stop ringing. But I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Good night. Bye.